should I say, Grubby, Marie, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you, yes. Now tell me about that nickname, where did that come from? Well, to much, uh, everyone's disappointment really, um, it was actually my last name before I got married was Grub, so therefore Grubby has been around for a long time. Of and yep, um, People get pretty disappointed with my explanation, <laughs> I can assure you, but yeah, that's, that's the main reason. It's one of those names that's stuck really, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yep, you know, my sister, my dad, you know, everyone's called Grubby, so yeah, it, it has stuck. Fantastic. <laughs> In a good way, of course, in a very good way. Now, Marie, thank you so much for joining us on Good Living today. Uh, of course, we're going to be talking about the upcoming season, which starts in, towards the end of March, is it? Uh, yes, it is, yep. Um, four months tomorrow. Uh, last, uh, last night, I was sitting on my couch thinking this time in, oh, not four months, sorry, in a month, we will be playing our first game, um, the 22nd of March here in Christchurch. So who's the first game against? The first game's against the Central Pulse, which is the team from Wellington. That's um, right. Yeah, they're looking pretty good this year, so it's going to be, um, you know, a tight battle, but really looking forward to actually getting out there and performing. So how long do you have off? Uh, like, when did your season finish last year? I know it's not long, is it? <laughs> no, people often think that we have lots of time off. Um, for some, it's longer than others, but um, after the ANZ Championships, you kind of go into Silver Ferns. I was a member of the Silver Ferns team, of so um, we went into that campaign. And so you don't really finish till the start of November, and then you have a few weeks off, and then you get back into pre-season training. So pre-season training started at the end of last year, or December last year, yep, was it? Yep, pretty much, November, <sighs> yeah. So we've been going a long time, but, you know, pre-season training's great. We get out, um, out and about around Christchurch, do run a few hills, go to the beaches and um, you know really get amongst it which is great. And I know fitness for you is a really big thing and you're renowned for your level of fitness. Talk to me like what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep that up when you're about to go into your netball season again? Well yeah you kind of have phases within your netball you know um, training period so therefore you know your pre-season training which is the November kind of to January stage is a lot of running a lot of um, weights work and stuff like that just kind of you know um, building the base as we would say mm -hmm. for the upcoming season kind of we're in the phase now of pre-competition where we actually are playing games we're out on the court a lot more so the running kind of you know takes a bit of um, uh, a, goes to the side a little bit mm -hmm. but we're on the court we're training you know um, for two hours not every day, um, uh, quite a number of days, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, <laughs> a lot. And then, yeah, we get into competition where you're just pretty much full on netball. Oh my goodness. Do you have a personal trainer or is someone that helps like obviously with the whole team but when you're doing it on a day-to-day -day basis yourself is there someone there with you the whole time? Yeah we, we're really lucky. The girls have um, a fantastic trainer called Jason Gregory. I don't know whether you've heard of him but Jason's been with us now for Goodness knows. Um, he was with us when the Flames w first began and then kind of had a bit of a break in his back with the tactics and he's been a huge part of, you know, my netball career and where I am actually at. Um, he is very motivating and, um, yeah, works us really hard, uh, but we really enjoy it. You need someone like that though, don't you? That's the part, that's the whole part of it, I guess. And also nu nutritionally, you'll be uh, following a very strict diet, so your performance is at its best? Yeah, everyone always talks about that. Yeah, no, definitely. We, ca we watch what we eat. We, um, you know, obviously, because we're training so much, we need to be fueling our bodies with the right foods, you know, the fruit, the veggies, the um, carbs, because obviously netball is, you need a lot of energy for it, and yes. carbohydrates is is quite important so therefore you know yes we do watch what we eat but you're allowed the you know odd treat every the now and then and, and you deserve it too you do <laughs> yeah. now you've been playing 12 years for for, for Canterbury mm -hmm. and is it three years for the Silver Ferns yes that is correct yeah I started um, back with the Flames in 99 mm -hmm. showing my age here now <laughs> <laughs> such a spring chicken yeah, back then. So, so young um, and yeah have been with the with the Canterbury franchise since then, so yeah, a long time. And yeah, the Silver Ferns, my first year with them was in 2005, was my first time in the squad, mm -hmm. so yeah. So at what point of the year do you find out about selection for the Silver Ferns for their season? Oh, okay, so they name it kind of after each ANZ Championship, so right. you're kind of um, with the, the national squad from June of one year to, you know, June of the following. So yeah, right, at the end works. of ANZ Champs is when they, when they name them. For the next time. For the next year, for the next year. Oh, well yeah, good luck for that. Thank you. Keep fingers <laughs> crossed for the next one, of course. Tell me about the positions you play, because I yeah. know wing attack, wing defence and centre. Yes. Which is a lot of running around <laughs> on the court. If you were to be honest, what yeah. would be your favourite position? Oh gosh, um, you know, I'd say goal attack, because I always, uh, we always have a bit of a joke within the team about who wants to play goal attack. 
pack each week. <laughs> uh, you know, the glory positions, the shooting positions. I know. <laughs> no, but um, definitely a mid-quarter. What's classed is a mid-quarter. Um, and kind of wing attack and centre, I like them both. I just like being out there just competing each week and, and just playing. And so any position, yeah. I'm, I'm up for it. Do you kind of feel as centre you have a bit more control of the game? <laughs> um, I suppose, on uh, yeah, at centre you are the kind of link between yes. the uh, shooting end and the defensive end. So therefore, yeah, you, you are playing... A, playing a part in both you know um, as a wing attack you're more of an attacking player and, and focused um, and getting the good ball to the shooters and defensively you don't have as much room to actually you know turn over the ball so yeah centre is centre is fun I like it um, but as I say any any chance to get out on court is good. It's good. Well, that's yeah. what it's all about, isn't it? Definitely. When you first started, because I imagine you're a tall girl that you probably were, did they put you in defence when you first yes, started playing yes, netball? Yes, yes, definitely. And, um, you know, people will often say to me now, oh, gee, on TV you look so small, but you're actually quite tall. Because, yeah. honestly, netball players now are just getting taller and taller and taller. So you started as a defender, but obviously moved into the uh, mid-court yeah, when I didn't grow as tall <laughs> <laughs> as I would have liked. Yeah, they <laughs> that's the thing, they're also tall. It's not until you actually go to a live game as well that you kind of realise that. that I know. You know. Someone that you thought was tall is actually just pretty normal. So. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us, no Marie. It's been great to have a catch up with you. Good luck for the season. Thank um, you. Starting on the 22nd against the Pulse. I know you guys will do great. And thank um, you. hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Awesome, thanks.